Bombs away. Hey guys, we are out at the dry lake bed again. Sock it to them, the Legend Hobby Sky Raider. All painted, weathered, ready to go. Just got some clean flights in. Uh, gonna start adding the stores to it. I wanted to talk through a couple of things uh, on what I've done on the stores. So first of all, we've got the center line tank and uh, this, is, this is provided in the kit. It's set up for the E-Flight release out of the kit um, or out of the box. Uh, which is really cool. From there, what I have done, so this is a M117 750 pound bomb that they used in Vietnam. These are droppable. They hold together with magnets and so I can put stuff in here so that way when they impact, they'll break apart, release anything I have in here. I meant to bring some like flour or something with me. I totally forgot this morning, but anyway, so first, First time out of the gate, we're going to add the centerline tank and we're going to add the M117s and we'll drop those. And then after that, I've got some additional stores here. And now this is all 3D printed here. All right. So this is uh, the rocket pod. Uh, this was a file I found online. And then these are the Mark 82s. And what I've done is these are all 3D printed. It's got an integrated... Um, bomb rack system with these side plates here to help it from rotation. Then there's three magnets that hold it in place. So when I put them on the wings here, if you come down, so I've got the magnets here, I've got the magnets here. And so what they do is they just hold in place like that. So uh, we're gonna start with the center line tank We'll start with the M117, see how that goes. Uh, and then uh, we'll start adding the rest of this stuff and uh, she'll be fully loaded. Uh, one of the other things that's in the kit, which is really cool, they have these sway braces that are, uh, that are included, as well as these, these screws here. So what you do is you put the bomb on. So I got a little uh, Allen here. All right, so that's on. So now, tighten these down, and this is going, it's fully functional. It keeps it from swaying in flight, just like the real ones. And these lock nuts here, what they do is they keep you from over-tightening, uh, because if you, if you over-tighten the payload release too much, uh, then these won't release, because the, there's not enough force to pull the pin. Uh, and so, let's add these, uh, get the centerline tank on. The centerline tank is droppable as well. I don't intend to drop it ever. It's, it's a nice fiberglass tank. It'll just get torn up, but I uh, could always put one of these on the centerline as well if I wanted to drop that, but yeah. So we've got this on here, hit the payload release. Just drops right off. Now, in order to get these back on though, you do have to loosen up um, these bolts because uh, it does put a little tension on the, it's put some preload on there. So let's see. Now typically you might get a slight pitch change on some of this stuff, I don't know. We'll see, the reason why I want to do a build up approach on it uh, is to see you know, what kind of trim change we get. Uh, rarely is there a case where there isn't a trim change with this stuff. All right, there we go. That's where we're gonna go with this first. And uh, drop some bombs, have some fun. So yeah, got to finish getting it ready and then we'll, we'll give you guys a flight. All right, we got centerline tank M117 bombs. Oh yeah. We'll drop those, see what, see how it is. I can get the uh, sound system to work a little better. Dang it, too soon.
The wind. Like the wind. That was a pretty good drop. Yeah. Pretty close to the center. It helps if you hit the right switch for the bombs. All right, let's load this thing up. Uh, notice I needed a couple of clicks of up trim with the tank. Not that surprising. So um, we're going to load it up, fly it again, see what we get. It looks so much cooler with all, all the stuff hanging down. Like the tank totally changes the look. Funny. All right, so we got the full bomb load. Um, the first flight we flew clean, second flight we flew with just the two inboard bombs and the tank. Needed a little bit of up trim. Uh, now we're going to fly with, the, with uh, everything. And so I've flown it once all right, already like this. Didn't require any additional trim change at all, so that's good. And interestingly enough, no real speed difference either. It flies pretty much the same. It's, <laughs> the exception is it looks freaking awesome. <laughs> so. All right, let's give you guys a flight. I forgot, sound system.
Bombs away. lucky <laughs> all right guys uh that's a sneak peek be on the lookout for my repaint video be on the lookout for my flight review uh i wanted to show you guys the new paint team use some flights show you what i did with the bombs flies amazing it looks amazing uh, i love seeing it with all all loaded up and dirty so all right guys until next time i'll see you at the field <laughs> all right all right guys about it uh try again she dropped the bomb on me, baby. <laughs> she oh, yeah. The bomb on me. It's, 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 it's taking it back to disco, man. <laughs> Dropping bomb. I'll see you at the field. Yeah, you will. Woo. That's right. That's the right, baby.